It's big. Let's go. Manufacturing. Oh, what is that? What is that? What is that right over there? So this chuck right here is four tons. Is an absolute monster. Oh man, Barrel S. Wow, on the wall, baby. Biggest Barrel S system right there on the wall. And check this out. Crazy productivity going on right here. They're making crazy work holding. We're in Menyon, Germany. We're at Shunk Boom. Let's go. Oh, what is that? What is that? What is that right over there? Heller in the house. Check this system out. Now, this is a Heller system. Now, when you look at it, it's hard to really understand what's going on. But what these are, these are loading stations for the pallet. You got a robot inside this cage that's actually bringing the material to the operator. You can actually look down, you can see the robot, it's positioned over here, and then it's just placing all the different pallets in this huge rack right here. Then the operator will take the material, place it onto the pallet, and then actually signal to the machine that the pallet is set and ready to go. And then the robot will come and take the pallet with the material and stage it, and let the machine know that it's ready, it's staged, while the machine is running parts on a different pallet. So the cage is huge. It's got material and pallets. The robot is on the inside. You got two hellers on this side, and you got two hellers on that side. And not only that, it's like, there's so many chips that are actually coming out of the machine that they actually brought a compactor and hooked it to the machine. So the chips come out, and then it makes the hockey pucks right here. They're nice and compact for recycling and you don't have a big chip buildup since the machines are running 24 seven. It's crazy, right? And the machine's just running, lights out, unattended. Absolutely beautiful. And then you come over here, the machine's just running nonstop. And then you come on this side and you got the other two hellers over here just making parts. Boom, making money. You're not making chips, you're not making money. Lights out. Love the Siemens control too. The Siemens control, like I, I've used a lot of different controls. Siemens is by far my favorite. In real manufacturing plants, these machines, they just run like day in and day out, 24 seven, making parts like this. And these guys are recycling the chips and making the pucks at the exact same time. So even being more efficient, so good, right? Shunk has it going on right here. Absolutely crazy productivity happening right here at Shunk Baby. Boom. Shunk was founded in 1945, right after World War II, by Friedrich Schunk in Laufen. And then it was Heinz Dieter Schunk joining the company in 64. And he actually made the company big. And he also introduced the product lines and starting with chuck jaws, then hydraulic tool holders, automation components like grippers and then also the work holding part and stationary and rotating. Currently, the company is run by his kids, where his daughter Christina is our CEO and his son Henrik is chairman of the board. In total, Shank is currently about three and a half thousand employees worldwide, where we are taking locally care about customer needs. Coming back to Mengen, where we are located here, we are about 530 employees currently and we are developing, producing, doing special engineering for our products in the work holding range. So currently we are in our building number four and, and there you can see already what happened here. So after Heinz Dieter Schunk was buying the company in 1994, we did actually to expand three times, creating new workspace and we were able to grow this facility here in Mengen to 200,000 square foot of production floor and also 50,000 square foot in office places for our R&D engineer, for special design and for all the other processes. So actually what I can show you over here is our biggest five axis machine tool. So on this machine table, which is a 1.6 meter in diameter, you can see the wrap modules, the LAT3 modules as a base. 
And again, for that shock body, which is the rotor and flex stiffener steel, we need that tight extension, and therefore we are using those manual risers out of our build kit in order to clamp the workpiece directly with having the pins being bolted into the workpiece. This is the Rota ML Flex that you have. It's the body for the Rota ML Flex. This is actually the chuck body of the exact chuck we have. We are doing here on those portal mills is actually base plates. We are machining again for a quick change pellet system. Pretty awesome. The entire table is a magnet. So basically you just take a piece of steel, drop it to whatever location you want it, and you turn it on at the control, boom, that thing is not going anywhere. And this machine, nice example of a magnetic plate that's not being used right now. We're holding, baby. It's gotta be ground absolutely perfect. Chunk is so legit. And one of the cool things is like, we've been to so many different manufacturing plants and it's great to see Magali over here. So Magali is one of the top grinding companies in the world. They're under the flagship of United Grinding. Just amazing machines, amazing quality, and they're used by the best companies in the world. Hence, it's right here at Shunk. And that's how we are grinding the guideways of our lace chuck body. So we are using their vertical spindles that are up to 60,000 RPMs as well as one horizontal one, depending on the shape of the guideway, of course. And we are grinding those guideways up to one meter in diameter of chuck bodies. Dusan, check that out. In this area we are having all our multi casting machine tools where we are doing kerning and milling processes. All those machines are automated. One robot is always loading two of the machine tools and the big goat is always getting a ready machine part out of two operations. Absolutely love this facility. One of the things about the facility, just as somebody who builds like shops also, is this flooring. This flooring blows my mind. And when I was in North Carolina at Shunk, they had the same flooring. So every couple years, I'm asking Mike, like, Mike, is that floor still good or did you guys have to repaint it, redo it? And he's like, no, man, it's still good. And uh, I see the same floor on this facility after eight years. That's crazy. The thing I love is you can actually come in and see the raw material down here. And you come over here and you see the chuck. This robot right here is actually placing the material places the raw material in that chuck right there. And then I would spin around right here. So then this secondary chuck actually grabs the material after it finishes machining on that side, puts it over here, and it finishes this side right here. And then the robot comes in, takes it out, boom, fully automated, crazy. Chucks making chucks. Gotta love it, man, boom. But even the robot, you know, when you look at the clamping and the grippers and stuff, it's all shunk. So they make their own work holding to sell to you guys, but that work holding is actually making their crazy precision work holding. Just so cool, right? It's like its own little ecosystem. Awesome. So man, how are you? So Simon, I see you over there working. I see you over here working, making it happen. So pretty young, how old are you? Uh, I'm 22. 22 years old, running automated system. Yeah. <laughs> and you create a new process of the... Oh, that is awesome. Awesome. I mean, you, your mind is creating the process to make it better yes, I and make, make these guys money. <laughs> <laughs> so you make money, right? <laughs> Super good, man. So Sam is actually one of those kids which were studying with us for the apprenticeship program and now he made a further education and he's responsible for process development. So even though you guys have been making these parts for years and years and years, you guys continually like drive these get better and better absolutely and it's more or less exactly what our customers are doing so what yeah. we are doing here is the need of everybody i guess in our industry and we are trying to develop the products that are helpful for becoming better and better day by day so an obsession for perfection that's Just our goal actually mm -hmm. right so yeah. we are at our apprenticeship center and Talentschmiede, that German word means talent, I guess, is existing in English as well in the same meaning. Schmiede means forging. That means that we want to form our new talents. We want to get in 
young kids that are motivated and we want to make them being skilled workers and that's what's happening inside here. Heiko is running our apprenticeship program. Many years ago Heiko did his apprenticeship as well at Shank. Generally it is a three and a half year program and it is a dual program. Quite soon after they started with us they are doing the mechanical basics but then we are moving them to machine tools, learning them the GNM codes and operating machines using the same machine tools actually, you know, with the same controls what they would work later on. Those machines are equipped as well with quick change pallet systems in order to train them, you know, to be productive also while their apprenticeship program. I'm Titan, nice to meet you. Oh, you follow up? Now you're in one of my videos. Okay. We're an apprentice here at Shop. How, how long? Two and a half years. Two and a half years, now you're running the CNC machine? Yes. You program the machines? Yes. 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 Nice. First year, they're already running the CNC machines. Yeah. So it's actually the area where we are doing our pneumatic learning and training, you know, how to get the connections done, how to operate the valves and the cylinders and everything and understanding very well what the needs are, how pneumatics is working in order to be prepared for that after the apprenticeship program. So that's actually our training room where in-house lessons are happening, where they can do their reports, where e-learning is possible, where CAT systems are installed and the group is doing a training currently as you can see, you know, also talking about our products there, we are teaching our students, our apprentices in our products that they understand what they are responsible for. For me personally, what brought me in industry was actually an apprenticeship as a tool maker. And then afterwards I went to university and studied mechanical engineering. And after university I actually joined Schunk and I'm working here for the last 26 years. And I'm very proud that me together with the team here were able to develop that location so nicely and building up our Schunk campus here on site. For me it was the joys of my life actually because I, I love working for that company and having a mentor with Heinz Dieter Schunk is the best thing you can ask for and he was helping me to develop my capabilities and, and to create that career and I'm very proud working for the company and also very thankful. Sustainability is a very important aspect for Schunk and we are trying to use as much as possible renewable energy and of course best is if we are producing the energy on our own so therefore we put a capacity of 2000 kilowatt of solar panels on our roof and heating and cooling of the building actually is working with groundwater. Now, of course we took a lot of efforts in this case we are taking out the groundwater that is quite cool we are using it to cool our buildings in the summertime we are taking all the heat from the compressors from the machines to heat in the winter time actually and that is all a closed circuit helping to save energy and saving the environment. Boom! 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 <laughs>